Steve Caldwell again here, Caldwell Ginseng. Right now I'm going to show you how I plant rootlets. Uh, in case you get, decide you want to plant some rootlets also. Again, just like planting seeds, this is one of your most favorite tools. The next favorite tool you have to plant roots is a good old fashioned garden hose. So we're going to start with the rake, obviously. We're going to do the same thing you would do with seed. You're going to clean, clean up some of the stuff out of the way of where you're going to plant. And I usually recommend you plant and try, you know, four foot square area, whatever. Bring your leaves back. Just like with seed, bring your leaves back. Get them out of the way. And with, once you get to this point, you get your leaves off. Then you're going to put this down, you're going to grab your hoe. You're going to need that so don't throw it away. And then what I want you to do is you come in here and come across. And we're going to dig a, we're going to dig a trench. Notice that's about you can see that's probably somewhere around three inches deep. That's about where I like it. If you want, you can dig a couple of trenches. I'm only going to show you in the one, but I will tell you this much when you dig your second trench, if you notice, that's about 12 inches apart. The reason being is I want you to put your rootlets about 12 inches square. So you have one every 12 inches square. Now, once you get your trench dug, grab your rootlets. And what we're going to do here, if you do the four foot sections, four foot square sections, is uh, you'll be able to put five rootlets in that four feet, one every foot. You put one in the end, one every foot after that, and then uh, just go right along. This is a little bit smaller than that. I'll show you and make sure you know is your buds right here at the end of this neck. You have a little stem here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this rootlet and where these little fiber roots are, we're going to lay them out in the ditch. Lay them right in the ditch like that. With that stem, Picking up towards, towards the top. You take your rootlets, stick them in there. Same thing, you stem them against the top. You can see that's about 10 inches, 10 inches apart to a foot. You can down 10 inches if you want. But I usually recommend a foot so you only have about four plants per square foot once you get it all planted. Again, take your fingerling, your, your little finger rootlets, fiber rootlets, lay them in the ditch. So if they get down in the dirt, keep that neck about, you want that neck so it's about half an inch below the surface once you're done. So that uh, it's a little bit underground, it's a little bit under the dirt, but it's not buried so far that it uh, won't grow and it's not on top of the dirt to where it'll freeze out. You don't have to put them all facing the same direction or whatever, just make sure that bud's up. Them things are not folded half or folded around. I'm going to stick another one right here. That's actually that's actually about three foot across the set, so I only got four in that one, but you can go however you want, three, four feet, doesn't matter. Whenever I ship root with this is a shop town. When I ship rootlets, I put them in, I dampen this, bring the water out. Put them in that shop towel, fold it over, put them in another shop towel, fold it over. What that's doing is that's keeping everything moist, keeping it moist and healthy. That way when you get them, you can take that shop towel and you can rinse it under water, bring the excess water out and wrap it up again for you know at least once a week so you keep everything fresh till you get it to ground. Although I do recommend you plant them within a week so that you uh, don't inadvertently dry them out. Uh, some people put them, send them to you in, uh, with moss in them to keep it damp. Some people put it in dirt and send them to you. 
I like this method so it's easy for you to find them, easy for you to see what they look like, and fairly easy for you to keep them fresh. I always recommend that you get them in the, in the ground at least a week before. Make sure you plant them, preferably before it rains. Like if it's going to rain tomorrow, plant that day. Then what you're going to do is once you get them in the ground like that, you take this loose soil and just set it all covered up. I do it by hand. Uh, you can take your rake, whatever you want to do. I just take, do it by hand so that I make sure it gets in there. Pat that back down and you're literally putting, see that from there come up out. Well, I guess that's a weed. <laughs> But that way you make sure you're getting your dirt on them. You're getting a nice half inch dirt or so on top of them. You're actually getting an inch on the root, about a half an inch on the bud stem. And then that'll be good to go for the winter. Then you back up, use that other ditch, back up that foot, put your next row in, and so on and so on. I'm gonna go, go to the next step because you already saw that. Once you're done with that, there again, Grab a little bit of straw because you never have enough mulch. Just like your seed, I recommend you get at least a couple inches of mulch on things before when you're planting because it will compact. And if you don't have enough on it, it'll freeze out. So you get that mulch, you get that straw on there. Grab all your garden rake. Just like your seed, pick it up, put your leaves on. And if you get a couple of sticks through rocks or whatever, no big, no big deal. Just put that all over the top of it. So that's like when you're planting seed, you get them leaves back on there. Pat it down a little bit, and you can feel how thick it is. You get that couple inches on there, and you should be good. You get that inch or so of soil on top of the rootlets, half inch on top of the next. You should be doing good. As I said before, when it comes to seed, you can go check out our website, www.callwellginseng.com. Send me off an email. Call me if you like. I always answer everybody. I'm more than willing to help you out. One thing I want to tell you about the rootlets are they're not cultivated rootlets. They're not grown from a prepared bed. These rootlets are actually coming out of what we already have planted out of sections that we plant. We literally, that's where we pour our rootlets from. So you're getting forest grown wild simulated rootlets. So that's how we plant our rootlets. Just like the seed, make sure you get enough mulch on it. And do it before the leaves come down because if the maple leaves are down, your seed, your rootlets should be in the ground already. That way you get another blanket of mulch right on top of this. Helps out even more. This is Denny Colwell, Colwell's Ginseng. Happy planting.